If you find an unfamiliar pest in the paddock, there are a number of ways you can identify it, including accessing the MyCrop webpage and phone app, contacting your local agronomist or the local Department of Agriculture and Food WA office. However, if you still can't work out what it is, you can send a photo or sample into the WA Department of Agriculture and Food's Pest and Disease Information Service. Svetlana Micic, entomologist with the WA Department of Agriculture and Food, explains. If you find an unfamiliar pest and you can't identify it, you, you do need to take a photo and it needs to be a good quality photo and with that photo you need to provide some information. The name and address of the collector, the crop it was found on, how much damage it was doing, the GPS location is a very good one because that way we can find where it actually was if we need to uh, go to that exact site. Um, and also the level of infestation, how much damage it was doing. It's also a good idea to take a close up of the pest as well as the damage. A high resolution photograph is really important so we can see the pest and identify it. To take a good quality photo, you, it's a good idea to have the camera or whatever device you're using on the high resolution setting, but don't zoom in. Just move the camera into where the pest is in focus take the photo and email it through to PADIS, the Pest and Disease Information Service. Farmers can also send in specimens for identification, but as Svetlana Micic explains, it's important to keep some guidelines in mind. There are different rules for different pests depending on what they are. So if you have a caterpillar or a soft-bodied insect like a caterpillar or a larval stage of a beetle, Collect it with what it's found on. So for instance, it was found on canola leaves. Collect it with the canola leaves, put it into a plastic container with um, micro pinpricks, like with a needle in the lid, and pat it out with tissues to absorb the moisture. Send it in early in the week. If it's a hard-bodied insect, like a uh, beetle, put it in with the, so for, say, a beetle found in the soil. Put it in with the soil, pat it out with some tissues, and send it in. Um, if it's not possible to send the sample of a beetle early in the week, put it into the freezer for 24 hours, then put it into a container with tissues and send it in. If, however, it's a butterfly or a moth that you found, put it in the freezer for 24 hours to kill it, then put it into a container with tissues and send it in. So the information that needs to go in then with your samples, what do you need to include? As with the photos, you need to provide the name and address and phone number of the collector, where it was found, ideally a GPS location, uh, the date it was collected. It's also a good idea to put all that information on a piece of paper in pencil, just in case there's leakage in the container. Um, it's a good idea to put the information into a Ziploc bag and send it in as soon as possible early in the week.